Welcome to a quick rebuild your pelvic floor strengthening routine. I'm Michael Hodge. I'm the co-creator of Overcome Pelvic Pain. Now, if you have tightness and tension and dysfunction, you really need to do some of our other routines that will open up and release and relax your pelvic floor. But once you're ready to start strengthening, bring back that vigor and that vitality into your sex life, into your exercise, into everything your pelvic floor does for you, this is us rebuilding and strengthening those muscles. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, while we're doing this routine, I want you to have a really strong awareness on your pelvic floor muscles. So instead of just doing the movements, we need to pay attention to our pelvic floor and focus the contraction there so that our team of muscles around it help out, but we're also paying attention to the pelvic floor. That's gonna give you results so much more than if you simply go through the motions. So we're gonna lie on our back, your feet are on the ground, your knees are up. This first one is single knee drop outs. So I'm also gonna prop my head on my hands. You could use a pillow or something else, but it can be a good idea to do this. We're gonna be dropping one knee out to the outside. As you inhale, and then as you exhale, you're contracting, also engaging the pelvic floor on the exhale. So ready, one, inhale, Exhale. Two. Three. Inhale, exhale as you contract to come in. Awareness on your pelvic floor. And release four. Breathing is very important. Five. Exhale. It allows you to engage your muscles more effectively, open up your diaphragm, and keep you present in this moment. We're going to be dropping the other knee now to the outside. One. Squeeze and pull in. Two. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Inhale and drop. Exhale. Bring in. Five. Now next we're going to do a mini happy baby. Just grabbing your shins, your back is flat on the ground, open up the pelvic floor, spread out. We're doing a full release. One part of our formula that we found that works is strengthening and then doing a full release. So not just doing strengthening exercises over and over and over again, but allowing to have a release as well, to have good flexion, flexibility, the ability to contract and relax. Okay, now our feet are gonna go back on the ground and we're gonna do a double knee fallout and then contraction coming in. We're gonna do 10 of these with your breath and your awareness on your pelvic floor. One. Outward, and exhale. Two. Inhale and draw. Exhale. Four. Exhale. Relax. Five. Really firing up your center line, even past your pelvic floor. Six. Creating a lot of fire down your center line. Seven. We've got three more. Eight. Exhale. Nice and powerful contraction. Nine. Nice. And 10. And let go. We're going to do another mini happy baby. Uh, let it all go. Open it up. Taking some breaths. It's okay if you want to move a little bit side to side in your sacrum. And stay flat on your back and let go.
Next exercise is gonna be a bridge with a pelvic floor focus. So instead of just bridging and kind of pushing your, your pelvis up, we're going to be engaging the pelvic floor, squeezing upward, coming back down vertebrae by vertebrae. This one is going to be inhale and then exhale as you go up. So with me now, inhale, exhale as you go up and contract. Inhale. Exhale, go up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Relax, that was five. Take a moment to stretch out. Mini happy baby. If you like to open your legs and close them like a book, that can feel really nice as well. Okay, feet back planted. We're gonna do five more of those bridges with the pelvic floor focus. Ready? One, that's exhale. Inhale, dropping vertebrae over vertebrae. Exhale, inhale, back up, back down, exhale, back up, inhale. Exhale, contraction, pelvic floor focus, and let go. One more little mini happy baby before we move on to what will be our final exercise and our final release of the routine. So roll over into your side, come up to a kneeling position. Sorry, kneeling position. Knees are about shoulder width apart, perhaps a little bit closer. We're just going to do a small air squat. And then we're going to be doing a kegel and almost a hip thrust moving forward with your pelvis. This is a really, really powerful way to do a kegel. You don't have to bring your butt all the way down to your heels. Just a small air squat will work. One, inhale, exhale. Two. Three, let go, four, contract, five, inhale and sit back, exhale, come up. Another thing we can do here is actually sit back into our hands, open up the sitting bones, so we'll do it six, exhale, contract. The same thing, but you can feel more and actually create more of an opening on the down. Seven. If you find this to be helpful for your opening and your contraction, this is another option for you. Eight. Nine. Anyone who's walking by at the gym is going to know you're really committed right now. Ten. <laughs> Okay, now what we're going to do next is open up by taking one leg out in a low lunge, keeping your foot flat, your hands on your sacrum, and push your pelvis forward, <sighs> relaxing and releasing the pelvic floor. I'm still breathing deeply, very aware, very present in this moment. Really listening and filling your body, your energy fully. We're gonna switch with the other leg out, low lunge, hands on your sacrum. Good posture with your spine, so we're not like leaning forward with our spine, but our pelvis is coming forward. 
a little bit longer. All right, let go. So we're gonna do one more round of 10 of these kneeling hip drives to finish out our workout. We're relaxed, present, one. Even more vigor now, more vitality, two. Rebuilding our strength, three. Feeling the energy, four. Five. Feeling that gratitude for having that flexibility, that flexion in your pelvic floor again. Six. Seven. If you'd like to use your hands again, whatever works better for you. Eight. Nine. Let's finish strong. One more. Ten. Contract. All right, we've got our final release. Don't skip it. One leg out. Hands on your sacrum. Pushing forward. Letting it go all the way. I know I mentioned it before, but that's the formula. Doing strengthening movements, engaging the pelvic floor and also the surrounding muscle groups, and then relaxing and releasing and having that ability to flex to contract and let go. And we'll switch legs. That's a happy, healthy, strong pelvic floor that can rebound, that has elasticity. All right, a little bit longer. Ah, wonderful, let that go. So that's a really great way to begin rebuilding your pelvic floor, strengthening and releasing along the way. I look forward to seeing you next time.